This is just a fraction of the cost you're going to spend on something like Peltor Comtacs. Now, these are not going to be as high quality as Peltor Comtacs. I'm not saying that. But for most people in the shooting community, this type of setup is going to work out great. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. Today we're going to be talking about tactical communications, specifically budget tactical communications. Now it's real easy to get off into the weeds when you start talking about communications and you're looking at the type of gear that uh, military special operations and some of these Instagram operators are using and you see these super elaborate setups that cost thousands of dollars. Now communications is going to be very important anytime you're dealing with a group environment, any kind of tactical situation where you have a team of people, especially in grid down situations where you don't have uh, your traditional types of communication like cell phones and things like that. Now I will admit I am no communications expert or anything like that, but I do want to show you a few setups that I think could work for the average guy. Not all of us can afford the Peltor contacts and the full tactical setup. So I have a few options for you we're going to go over. We're going to start at kind of the most basic and the cheapest option and we're going to work our way up to what I think is going to be a really good alternative to something like the Peltor contacts with the full special operations setup. But before we do that, guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a big old thumbs up. We really appreciate that. All right, guys. Now, like I said, I'm no radio communications expert or anything like that, so I'm not going to be diving too deep into the different types of radios or really even how to weave them into your kit and things like that. What we are going to be talking about is the different types of setups you can use for your situation in a cost-effective manner. Now the first one we're going to be talking about is something like this. This is a setup like I would have in my church security role. The radio we're using is just this uh, Midland GTX 1000. This is your average GMRS or FRS family band style radio that a lot of you guys probably already have around your house. Now the benefit of something like this is it is going to be pretty cost effective. Now these aren't going to have the 35 mile range that you see on the packaging but you could still easily get out to a mile with a radio like this and in a lot of situations that's all you need especially if we're talking about like a church campus or a school campus type area or something like that. Anytime you're still going to remain in a pretty close proximity to the rest of your team. Now I have this radio routed up to this covert style earpiece. Uh, this is going to work out great, especially if you're trying not to draw a lot of attention to yourself. Uh, this very low profile earpiece and it does have your push to talk here that you can clip onto pretty much whatever you're wearing. This type of setup is going to be much better than just using your radio because you're the only one hearing that communication come through. Now if you are in a shooting or tactical situation, this is still going to work out great. This really low profile headset is going to fit really nicely under whatever hearing protection that you're wearing. I really can't even feel that it's there, but I am still getting communication through the earpiece while still protecting my ears. Now stepping it on up, another really good option if you are going to be wearing a plate carrier or some other type of kit is to have your communication set up integrated into your carrier. Now what I have here is the Baofeng UV5R and you can see that I have the antenna routed around here to my back. I do have an upgraded larger antenna that routes up through the Molly webbing on the plate carrier. I have done a full video on this carrier. If you want to check it out, I'll put that link right here at the top of the screen. And what I'm using here is just a shoulder mic. Similar setup to what you might see police officers using. And this is a great option because that shoulder mic is acting as your push to talk. The only downside to a setup like this is that your communication coming from the other end is gonna come out through the speaker on this shoulder mic. So anyone in your general area is gonna hear that communication coming over the radio. One way around that is that most of your electronic hearing protection, like these Walker Razors or your Howard Light, are going to have an audio jack. Now that's really meant for listening to music or connecting to your phone or something like that, but it can also be used for your communications. So a lot of shoulder mics like this one will have an extra microphone port that you can run up to an earpiece or directly into your hearing protection. So you'll hear that communication coming over your headset 
and then you still use that shoulder mic as your push to talk to talk back to whoever's on the other end of the radio. Now we're going to step it up a little bit more into a little bit more of a professional setup. The radio we're going to be using for this setup is the Baofeng, I believe it's the UV82. It's just a little bit uh, better quality radio than the UV5R that a lot of people have. And you can see we have this routed up into a more professional style push to talk. And we have that routed up to our headset. Now this is what I'm really excited to tell you guys about. This is the Opsman Earmore M32 headset. This is a radio communication headset, similar to what you might see with the Peltor Comtax or something like that, but it's gonna come in at a much more budget-friendly price. The M32 comes in at just around 80 bucks, which is much more affordable than the five to $600 Peltor Comtax. Now, obviously you are gonna be sacrificing some quality there, but a lot of us don't really need the same type of ruggedness that your special operations military is gonna use. And this headset does work great. It's gonna work just like your normal electronic hearing protection with a few upgrades. It does have directional microphones that are gonna amplify the sounds around you. Uh, and because they're directional, you will know where that sound is coming from. You can also see it does have the boom mic here for your microphone. Now this setup here is gonna run you around 200 bucks. And I, like I said, I will put links to all this stuff in the description below. Now I think for the average person, this is a perfectly legitimate tactical communication setup. It's gonna work for most people in most situations without breaking the bank. All right guys, now we're gonna step it up even more to a helmet mounted setup. This helmet is from Ballistic Armor Co. and I have done a review on it. I'll put a link to that right here at the top of the screen. Now I still have the same radio and push to talk setup that we just talked about, but the headset I'm using here is the Opsman Earmore M32 Mark III. This is their Mil Pro headset and it's gonna be a lot higher quality than the one we just talked about. It's gonna be much more heavy duty and built to some military specifications. It's also gonna have better sound quality. It's gonna have better speakers better microphone and things like that. Now the Mil Pro, the M32 Mark III's are gonna be more expensive. They're gonna come in at more like $300, but that still is just a fraction of the cost you're gonna spend on something like Peltor Comtax. Now, these are not gonna be as high quality as Peltor Comtax, I'm not saying that. But for most people in the shooting community, especially guys uh, like me that are building out these setups more for preparedness, for emergency situations and things like that, this type of setup is gonna work out great. Now they do sell the Mark III's with the headband just like their regular uh, M32's, but as you can see, they do have arc rail attachments if you want those so that you can mount them onto your helmet setup. The push to talk here is also from Opsman. Now the cord that comes down from the headset is going to be your standard NATO plug. And then coming out of the bottom end of the push to talk, you can get those for pretty much any radio that you want. Like I said, guys, you can spend as much money as you want on a setup like this. Uh, you could spend thousands and thousands of dollars but for under $1,000 or really under $500 if you don't go with the helmet, you can get a quality communications headset, push to talk, and a ham radio that'll work for most people. But go ahead and stop right now, guys. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about these setups? Which one do you think would work out best for your situation? All right, guys, that's it for Budget Radio Communications. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions about anything we talked about in this video, make sure you leave that down in the comments. Don't forget to check out our links to all of this stuff in the description. And if you haven't done it yet, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. Help us beat that YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay prepared.